Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into Skurring Station. We are back with Resident Evil Code Veronica X, PlayStation 2, original hardware. I love the music, haunting melody, yeah, I love it too. <laughs> it's pretty relaxing always, this, um, this music from these games, aren't they? Resident Evil, always safe game music is awesome. They're just epic with that. Wait one second, I see it very, very dark for some reason, again. Let me try to change the filter, color correction. Wow, wait. Yeah, gamma is not optimal. Why is it so dark now? It wasn't, it wasn't a dar as dark yesterday. Maybe it's the room. Saturation. Let's put the defaults. And a bit of gamma, just a tiny bit. I hope this is co this is okay. It happens with this game. It looks very dark though. Good luck knifing. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, whew. This do looks as dark as it can be. Well, we'll try it. I have not changed anything in the settings from yesterday, and yesterday it somehow worked. Now it's it's lighter. Now it should be lighter. It was just dark because I was not moving. Good. I don't know where we left off yesterday, to be honest. I'm kind of lost. I just remember that we have the Lugers. Yeah, we have the Lugers. We saved. With the bowgun. There was a the worm outside. Um, but that's not actually what we gotta do. Wait, I will put the MP100 in the case. The Lugers will take with us because we can proceed in the mansion with them. Um, the bowgun. Wait, I will keep this here in. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Just started now with this with this beautiful game. Whoop. I'm just so impressed how, how well it's kept. I hope I don't break it or something. This case. Wait. Let's throw it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing great. Uh, ooh, my eyes are itching for some reason suddenly. I hope my contact lenses don't fall off. Um, yeah, overall good. Wait, the Lugers we have to take with us. The biohazard card we still can use. Let's fiddle around a bit with the inventory. Continue, continue doing that. Um, combine it. We leave the gunpowder arrows. The extremely strong arrows we will leave uh, let's see how f how l how far we get today um, I'm not quite sure if the biohazard card I think the rest is okay if we keep the Lugers we can place here in this building um, that's what I will gonna do now so let's reload back back yeah, incredible how time passes it's almost the end of um, of August. It's insane. And until the end of this week, we're going to finish this game, hopefully. If not, we continue next week. Um, there are no achievements or anything. Rebecca, welcome. How is it going with the, with the studying? I hope it's going well with your preparation for the driving license. Equip now. Use place them there, the Lugers. The door is open. The lock has been released. Hmm, let's explore. Has it got to study hard? Just saying, hi yeah, you got to... Uh, when is it again? You told me yesterday. It's, it's very soon, right? Oh, wait. Now we have it equipped. Just checking again how we use the gun. Okay. An old photo stand is placed here. Hopefully over tomorrow. Oh yeah, you have to you have to um, to study then. Do the last do the last um, ses study session. Don't stress too much. I mean, you have prepared super well, so it will go easy cheesy. Good. I took it. Wait, can we take something else? No. Wow! I saw yesterday when we raided. We raided. Um, ah, let's see. And he was playing Resident Evil Zero. What a comparison. 
what a comparison. Resident Evil Zero looks so good compared to this. It's obvious, right? Uh, 12 hours and 30 minutes left. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. No, but you'll do it well. It's good. An antique music box. No, we can't, can't do anything. Ooh, but why is it so stormy outside? There is no pow power going to it. Turn the computer on? Yeah, I mean, it looks on. I stress because my child scream and my boyfriend calls me all the time. Yeah, don't worry. Look again, they're, they're again playing with a... with a firefly. These assholes always kill, uh, pull the wings of the firefly and throw it. Jeez, oh, there again. Ah, music box is on. Zero graphics are good. It's a 2002 uh, two game. Yeah, but it's really good. Please enter the password. I have no clue. I have no clue what the password is. Um, maybe it's someone wrote it here. Information security people would be not happy if they would see someone writing passwords on a desk. Ah, those asshole twins. Yeah, sometimes it's written on the map. Something is written on the memory. First digit, left, right. Second digit, left. Third digit, right. Fourth digit. What? What is this? I don't have anything to 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 write it down. You must not reset while maneuvering. Okay, wait. Gotta go see ya. Rebecca, thanks a lot that you, that you popped in. Uh, super much appreciated. Have super much have super much luck there with the with the exam tomorrow. It will go well. And yeah. Gotta tell me how it went. Uh, but then finally it will be just of the past and then we'll ju we'll just have the the practical exam for the driving license. That's also not easy. Um, first digit. It's left. Oh, maybe this is like the music box or something. Ah, it doesn't write it down. Wait. I made an error here. And I don't have the booklet. Here I have a booklet. I took it. Now we can write it down. We can make our notes. It's always good in this Resident Evil game to, to, to make your notes, you know? Always. Um, I mean, I just like to note, note things down. Makes me feel like, like I would know what I'm doing. <laughs> One <laughs> is uh, left and right. Good. Next one. The second is just left. Third is right. Hmm, it's kind of easy. <laughs> Fourth, uh, write down or open files. Ah, and then you can uh, write down or open. Or op oh yeah, you can open the files and then you will have it also. Right, 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 right. That's it. We must not reset while maneuvering. Okay, we have it done. We have it written. And uh, now we will f play around with the music box, I guess. Where is it? Here it is. Rip. There's a button. Push the button. Push which button? Left. Right. Left. Right. 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 Ah! You see the numbers up there. I didn't check it. Jeez. Reset. Okay, let's play it again. Ah, this is interesting. 
So the first digit is left and right. So this would be a one. I guess. I'm not sure. Let's try it out. If it's left, it's a nine. That's the second digit. Third digit is right. Would be a seven. Whoa, that's a good one. And then right. 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 Yeah, a one again. What? 1971. I guess that's it. We have the access code. We are hackers. <laughs> I hope it's it's correct. Wait, let me see. Yeah. 19. I, s I think so. 19.71. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that was kind of cool. It was a very cool riddle. This is how I noted it down. That's why I noted down always in Resident Evil games. I note down things. And then you can solve the riddles. And they're, they're not as, as difficult as if you would be sitting there and thinking, ah. Oh. I mean, you can memorize it. It's not super difficult, but... I just like to note them down. Looks more sophisticated. That was easy. Yeah, I was easy. Oh, that was not easy now. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Boy, it ate a lot of bullets, that asshole. That, that asshole ate a lot of bullets. Caution. Whoa, but not bad. 15 bullets, I think it ate. Yeah, they're strong. The banner snatch. I think they're called banner snatches. Like the Netflix movie. That Net Netflix movie is interesting with the... Um, with like the options that you have you can choose which way to go and it's like an interactive movie an antique music box what did we get out of this just an enemy i know it moved i'm not sure where i'm going maybe this is wrong but we're progressing so i guess it's okay doing a bit of progress Always when streaming or gaming have enough drinks with you. I'm having a lemonade. Passion fruit lemonade. It's good. Very good. Oh, but this looks like a boss fight or something. Ooh. Jeez. Bandersnatch was interesting. Yeah, Haunting Melody. It was an interesting movie. I tried to, to get all the endings. I'm not sure if I got the, all the endings. But I enjoyed it. Hmm, I think we went to another direction. We still have the the biohazard card for the other section. Palace. Hmm, no, I, w I wanna... Let me see which section I'm in. Private residence. Kind of concerned because I have... Oh, fuck. What? We have even more of them. We have even more enemies. These are just the standard enemies now. Like, every enemy a boss. Maybe not a boss, but they're quite strong. And I don't feel very confident to fight them at the moment. Boop. Let me see. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, the plan is that we finish it on Thursday. This game. Maybe. Who knows? If we do enough progress today. We might be able to solve solve the riddles here. All of them. Wait, let's go back. 
Here I think we have found everything. I like the actor also a lot of Bandersnatch. I don't like the actors, Lork. Ah, uh, let's see. Thanks a lot. I just wanted to pop in and wish you a great stream. Gotta focus on work right now, but I'll keep the stream up alert. Thanks a lot. Very, very much appreciated. Ah, uh, let's see. Very much appreciated. I hope you finished Resident Evil Zero. Um, yesterday. Um, yeah, that's a good game. It's a hard game, but it's a it's a good game. I'm happy I played it. Um, I did finish it last night. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's awesome. It's a good game. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a difficult game. It's very difficult, in my opinion, but worth the uh, worth the effort. Wait, let me see. I will go back to the. Ah, oh, wait. Let's take some herbs. Herbs. And thank you for uh, so much for the raid again. Uh, thank you for 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 the support also. <laughs> yeah, and always welcome. Wait, let me see. Let's enter. And you have to thank Zed uh, Nasul. Nasul. A uh, big thank you to him because he raided me before. So, and I was finishing. Uh, then I raided. I raided you afterwards. Uh, combine it. Buck. Yes, combine. Herb. Mix herbs. At least we can um, we can heal if we have a problem. Maybe I hope not. I hope not. Um, good. Let's go back and let's backtrack a bit. I have here a bit of a guide. You can oof. you can also backseat if you want. There's no problem with that. If you know the game super well and you're like, whoa, I want to give some tips. Feel free. Super concerned. Super concerned. Oh, super. We evaded it. Uh, you have to evade sometimes in this game. Sometimes you have to be um, evasive. They just respawn. That's the, that's the problem. That's the main problem. Let's go back down to the to the military compound where the where we didn't finish exploring because it was way too late yesterday we couldn't finish it up um, yeah but it was very very sad oh shit shit I'm not talking because I'm stressed Whew. bander snatchers Two of them. It's not easy. The guns that I have is they're not not optimal against them. I hope we can enter here. Yeah. Not even sure where I passed. Good. Let me see. Um, submachine gun. We got that. Golden Lugers. We have them. We already placed them. Um, take out all the zombies in the next room and go through the sun. No, that's okay. Keep on going to clear. No, this we also have. The gold worm, head uh, head through the door, avoid the gold worm and grab the arrows and the barrel if you want to, yeah. Use the biohazard card. We just will use the biohazard card here and we'll just explore things that we have not seen until now. I'll use again the, the card. Yeah, let's use it. We have to open them all. Oh, I'll try to open the other section too. I don't even know what we lost because we died and we lost some progress here. Nah, uh, it's not complete. Uh, still, we have to wait a bit to enter. But this area is open at least. Good. I don't know if I have been here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, we'll find out in a second. No, this doesn't look familiar to me. Oh, this dogs. Oh shit. I hate them. They eat so many bullets. It's bleeding. Bleeding. Dead. Good. Oof. Hmm. I'll use the bow gun. I think we're in a problem. 
Let me see how much hit points I have. Caution. It's yellow. I think we can stay with yellow a bit. This area looks weird. This area looks completely new. Haven't seen it until now. Ah, but we go down. But we can't enter this area. We'll try it anyways, come on. Yeah, go down. Go down. Those sounds. I think you just took some bars and hit them against each other. Oh. Undead. Cop Chris. Thanks a lot. Very much appreciated for the follow. Very much appreciated for the follow. And thanks for popping in. Um, we're trying to beat this super old game on original hardware. That's how it looks like. It's a breaker for the ventilation device. It's currently set the on, on the on position. Can't I just turn it off? No, this is locked. Ah! Uh, a card reader, indigo blue in color. No, this is not okay. Uh, you're welcome, handsome. <laughs> what? <laughs> and hope you have a good day. Of course, super good day. Super, super good day. Um, I was looking forward to play this one. I have imported it uh, from the UK because I didn't own it back then. I just bought, the, bought it this year, bought this, this old game. And I'm satisfied with it until now. It's a it's an interesting Resident Evil game. It's a good one. But it's not easy. It's hard. Go we exit it. I think we can go up. Let's go up, maybe we explore something new. I'm concerned that maybe dogs are upstairs, but we'll do it. Hmm, oh, but this area looks familiar. I first time playing Code Veronica. Also love your accent. Yeah, it's uh, a, um, a mix between, I think, Austrian and... Yeah, mainly Austrian, because I talk all the time German. But I'm native in Spanish, so... But since I live here in Austria, and I'm half Austrian, then... This is why maybe I have a bit of a, a German accent. <laughs> Wait, let me see this this card. Can we remove it? Ah, there is an indentation on the indigo blue plate. Yeah, yesterday we saw that blue plate. But we don't we, did, we don't know where it is anymore. It's lost. Austria, not Australia. I mean, not Australia. It's like uh, south of Germany. Southeast of Germany. Ooh, can we open it? Card reader? Yeah. Sweet. And it's open. Yeah, I missed this game when it came out. I didn't play all the Resident Evil games. Actually, I only played Resident Evil 1 and 2. Originally, but I always have liked horror games. No, we were here yesterday. But we didn't progress because we died. And now I'm super concerned. We don't die again. Here I think we meet the, the, the boy. Ah, well, see, nice. So that's why you thought... <laughs> yeah, that's maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Well, here we could say... But we were here. Old typewriter. Yeah, we don't have a ribbon. Shoot. Work clothes are hung here. They must have spent their off hours here. To yeah. Do they have some, some goodies? No, nothing. Work schedule. No work. Ah, we could save here, but I think ah, this is always a dilemma in these games because with the ribbons, I'm not sure. We have five ribbons, and I'm gonna stream four hours, so it should be one ribbon approximately per hour. Could could be okay, you know. Could be okay. Uh, I hope we find more ribbons though. But I'm kind of motivated to to save. No, there's nothing in, nothing in the box else. Hmm, should I save? Maybe, because I'm hurt. Ah, here we found the homostatic medicine. 
Grab the eagle plate. No, we don't have that one. Gold Lugers. Take the zombies in the next room. Nah. Nah, I'll try to solve it myself. Just without the without the guide. Let's save. No, we played only 30 minutes. We don't save. <laughs> Let's leave it. <laughs> That's the dilemma. It's always a dilemma. I hate... There is only one difficulty setting. And... Yeah. You gotta be very, very... Um, careful when you want to save and when not. Why I'm so careful, you might ask. Why I'm struggling around. It is because I played Resident Evil 1 in hard mode this year with Chris, which is like a bit uh, the more like the, the, the more difficult path that you can take. And, um, well, I had to stream f like three or four hours without saving. Every minute that passed, I was stressed. I was sweating. Every door I opened was dangerous. But then after three hours, three and a half hours or something, without saving, we finally found a ribbon and then I could save. And that was after streaming already two hours. It was like a five-hour stream or something. Door is locked. You can't open it. What? Why? Why is it not opening? Hmm. That's why. Let's let's zoom in. Why doesn't it let me go there? I mean, let's go this way then. It's locked. Have you played this game several times? Undead Cop Chris. Whoop, let's go. Continue. Yeah, after this game I will be streaming Resident Evil 7 next month. I've been doing a Resident Evil marathon. I just made now in June and a bit of August I made a break, but in June I, I streamed mainly indie games. It's also locked. And Ah, oh, you can only open it from the other side. I'm not sure. Yeah, you have played it. Ah, oh, that's good. When it came out or recently afterwards? No, here is everything closed. Let's go back then. I hope the dogs don't respawn. Whoop. Hmm. I'm concerned because I don't know where to go. The eagle plate was somewhere there. But I don't know where Steve is. There was an elevator too. I think if we go out, we might find another sneaky path. Ah, but wait. Yeah, of course. There is a sneaky path if you go out. Ah! I opened the door without wanting. We have to go out, sneaky path back. The controls tell you. The controls are difficult. Like, they're not state of the art anymore. But overall, I enjoy it. Like, PS2 when, uh, was when I was 10. Then on my PS4... Oh, wait, I have to run because the, the snake is coming. Whoa! This asshole. I don't want to kill it. Are you play Ah, you played it when you were 10 on the PS2? And then on, on your PS4? Ah, that's cool. Yeah, the PS4 version is a bit uh, HD. I think they... It was... Was it 1080p? Maybe not, right? But it didn't do any graphic updates or something. Yeah, this is just a raw mess of old graphics. But to be honest, these were good graphics back in the day. With really good graphics. Resident Evil was always a good graphic game, in my opinion at least. I always perceive it as very good graphics. Open the door. And the top-down, like... Gameplays just because the, the the hardware was not good enough. I guess I don't think that they wanted to to have it like this all the time. Or maybe who knows? 
Our friend left. How is this called again? Ronnie? No. Let's see how it's how it's called. Because I forgot. Since I have the move. Since I have the box. The physical copy. Steve! That's the name. He's only in this game, I guess. I've never heard of him in other games. Steve Burnside. He's a bit weird. I think his parents were bad to him. <laughs> bad. Good. Let's not touch it too often because then it breaks. It was remastered on a PS3 and on Xbox 360 in September 2011, then ported from PS2 to PS4 2017, and then came out on Xbox, which that one was from remastered from the HD version. Ah, that's why. That's why they're also not doing anything to it. Because 2017 is... I mean, it is already some time ago, but for me, it feels like yesterday. 17 is like yesterday for me. Good, let's continue exploration. I don't see anything... important. Pwah! You get lost in this game. Pretty much. I could pass, but it's a one-way ticket. Because this this door suggests that I can only go one way. I mean, we should go that way. Let me just explore again and see if we have some, some goodies. No, we took everything. There was a bullet there, yeah. A bullet box. You have unlocked the door. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, I don't have any PlayStation. I only, I only own the PlayStation 2. I've never owned the PlayStation 1. Or other PlayStations. Is it super dark again? Yeah, this bow gun. Whoever invented it. This is like for kids. This is like a Nerf gun. Nerf guns are cool. When I was a kid, I had a Nerf bow. It was quite strong, actually. Card reader, blue indigo. No, we don't have it. But here it's dangerous. We have one door we can open. Let's check it out first before we use the elevator. Because then we start exploring up and down. I think it was a good idea to come back here because if we have too many sections open... There. Yeah, this is what I was missing. A man's portrait is displayed here. He looks like... Like French or something. I don't know. That head. That head. Let's take the blue plate. Perfect. Eagle plate, yes. Because now we can open... Open... Um, the section where the metal detector is. And then we can get the, the goodies out from there. I think that should be it, right? Maybe here in the back? No, nothing. Nothing. Wait, there are ribbons here too. We haven't saved until now. And I think that now we have eight of them. It makes sense to save. It's a good progress now. Yeah, 40 minutes is okay. Because we started the stream and right away in the action. There. Let's not override the save games. Just make more and more of them. I don't even know how far I'm in. Fuck. There we go. I think it's a very good solution what they solved with the loading times. Oh shit, this is dark again. Pretty dark. Hmm, which floor? We have the eagle plate. 
Avoid a gold worm and grab the arrows on the barrel if you want and head through the double door. Use the biohazard card on the far shutter. You go outside. There are two dogs head upstairs. Place the eagle plate in the indentation on the card emblem. And get the emblem card. Oh shit, we should get it. Let's use this. Let's let's try to solve this. There are ink ribbons. Grab the eagle plate and go back to the where Steve is. But Steve is not here anymore. Let's go out. We should go back where Steve... Where the fuck is Steve? Where the fuck is Steve? I think he's gone. Fuck it. Let's take the elevator. I'll do it my way. Good. Let's explore the basement first. From the bottom to the top of the of the room of the, of the house of this facility where the, oops I hope I hope guys you don't you don't hear the um, the ventilator if you do just tell me who hand can pull that's so always nice yeah if they okay it's 10 years ago again with the remake, with the port to the 360. Bah. I hate the time passes so fast. It's super sad. Did you save? Es Nasul, how you doing? Thanks for popping in. Yeah, I, I saved. Like two minutes ago. Oh no, wait. But now I understand why you say it. Caution. And thanks a lot again for the for the raid. Super much appreciated, uh, Snasul. Caution breaker may fail to the overload. In case of failure, raise the lever as illustrated. The ventilation device will resume operation. We have read this yesterday. Ah, this is the ventilation device. That gas doesn't doesn't look healthy. Two minutes ago, no no no, it's way too far away. <laughs> Yeah, we don't get too many ribbons, that's the problem. There are also no no difficulty settings. I read it that the Japanese version has difficulty settings and the dream, Dreamcast version also. Gotta save every 30 seconds at, uh, at least, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a person like that. I, I like to save very, very often. The card reader Indigo Blue. No, we don't. We don't need that. Here, maybe we should not. No, I will not take the grenade launcher. Let's leave it. I mean, I have, the guide says that I should go somewhere else to get the emblem card. Makes sense. Because I guess that the emblem card is the blue card. Oh shit, that's the shit bow gun. We just saved two minutes ago. No! Hit them. Hit them. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's bleeding. Bleeding. I'm like, where is the start button? <laughs> Caution. Yeah, it's orange now. Let me see. Let's come check it. Asheville family crests, an eagle grass hellbard. The indigo blue plate portion appears to be ma uh, to be made of special alloy. Yeah, it is of special alloy, my friends. It's secured with a simple lock. No. Then we need the simple key, I guess. <laughs> Super concerned. What's this green thing? Can it be used for gun maintenance? There's a handgun part placed on the, on the work desk. It cannot be used with the M90R. Shit, then with what gun can we can it be used? Maybe with a shotgun, could it be? We got bullets again. 
Nah. We can continue. I think this is... There's nothing useful. I hope we don't forget anything. Let's go back. Where could it be? You tap right away, grab the plate on the first throw, then go back to where Steve is. Go to the double door and watch out for the two dogs. Head to the door, avoid the gold worm, and grab the arrows in the barrel if you want. And head to the double doors. Use the biohazard card on the far shutter when you go outside. This is something completely el somewhere else. I have no clue where, where this guy guide wants to take me. I can't open this. But I can enter this way. Here's another door. Maybe we have not seen it. I think we just have to put that emblem somewhere. I f think I know where it is. Oh, jeez. No, this has to be moved somehow. We can't climb. Ooh, there is something behind I hear. I hear the steps of it. Ah. Jeez. What's this? Nothing. Not easy, the game. Not easy. I'll take a bit of more juice. I'll try to make the two episodes today. Like four hours approximately stream. Um, yeah, there's no other way. We have to go back. And place it. We're in the basement. Maybe we go up. Things I'm not sure where, where Steve was. Or where he left because we died. And I have no clue. What's missing? Oh, this. Ah, this is something else. This is the, the, of whoever read this. It is up there. Is this the room? It looks like the room. It's a machine used for ventilation. It seems to have been used for a long not not been used for a long time. Over the grid there is a indigo blue card reader. Yeah, we'll need the indigo card. Then we turn it off. But uh, we first we have to place that that emblem somewhere. Well I'm happy I'm playing this back to back like One day after the other. If I would do some breaks, I'd be completely lost. I mean, not that I'm not lost now, but I would be even more lost. <laughs> okay, basement is checked. First floor, let's go to the second one. Open the door. blue card again and I guess here's nothing else blue card okay but if we have the blue card then we can just navigate th through that other door uh, yeah and then we have all this area uh, X like we can access the whole area I don't think we can jump down can we Nah. This is locked. Okay, second floor is irrelevant. Let's go to the first floor again. And... Go out. I'll try to follow the path that the guide suggests. Because the guide is always right. <laughs> I was like, no, I want to find my way. I don't like using guides normally. But since this game is not very linear, that's that's actually something that... Like, Resident Evil games are like this. They open up areas, but this game specifically, I feel like it opened up too many areas where I can go, and I don't know where I can progress. Um, and I got lost quite easily. That's why... Um, 
I have here a bit of a, a help or a cheat if you if you want to say so. Cool, there's the ripped box. Save point. I mean, already several 30 second sections passed. <laughs> we could save again, but no. Ooh, what's this? Ah, bullets! Perfect. I didn't see them. At all. I wanted actually to go through the door. Will we go back? We will have to evade the worm. Actually, if the worm touches us, we're dead. Completely dead. Wait, I want the um, eagle plate go back where Steve head through the double doors and watch out for the two dogs. Grab head uh, through the door, avoid the gold worm, and grab the arrows on the barrel if you want. Head through the double doors. And this is double door, double door, double door. Yeah. It's this way. And we go back to the other other part of the building. Now we have at least um eagle plate. We should be able to place it somewhere. Freaking worm. Double door. We go upstairs. We can't go upstairs. Card reader says no. I mean, wait, is this the way upstairs? No, it is not. It could be. It could be. Use the barrel card shutter when you go outside. There'll be two. Okay, we already did that. Go to the safe room. Up here. Uh, what? We already were there. In the safe room. Okay, I'm clueless again. You see? Even with a guide, it's a bit... A bit difficult. Use the biohazard card on the sh far shutter. When you get outside, there will be two dogs there. We already had that. This is outside. Here we killed the dogs. Ah, but now... Okay, yeah, I know it. Here we had the indentation. Yeah, this is what I was searching. Yeah, there it is. We did it! Now it would be a good place. Ooh, the card. It was expected. Yes. Let's check it. This is a card key shining in indigo blue. You can use it at this military training facility. We are at the military training facility, aren't we? Let me see at the map. Uh, have a look at the map. Yeah! Okay. Guess with this we can open freaking every door now. Except that one. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go to the safe room. I think it makes sense. Makes a lot of sense to save now. We have enough... Um, enough progress now. Only 13 minutes, but... 13 valuable minutes. Wait, let's put the goodies in again. Whoop. Go downstairs, find the opening in the small courtyard. Now let's, let's place the things in. Actually, we need everything what we have. We'll not leave anything. Except the rebounds. We're not doing any achievement runs, so... Better save.
I lose every slot available. I hope that this memory card doesn't die now during this playthrough. That would just suck. I don't even know if you can still get them. They're proprietary memory cards. Only 8 megabytes. Like, basically nothing. This is storage. But that's how we stored in the past our games. And I have a lot of safe, safe games on that card. But 8 megabytes is just a joke. Is this door to be opened? Door is locked, can't be can't be opened. Guess no. Okay, we saved. Let's go back. Now we can open the doors that are in green. They mark it at least. These sound effects. Wait, can we take this with us? There's nothing left. Ah, oh, shit. So we can't take. I thought we, we can take that shield and go to the metal area. But apparently it was wrong. I was wrong. Ooh, we soon get a grenade launcher. Good Lugers, go back downstairs, finds. Go ba head back. Um, okay, go to save room up. We put the things, go back downstairs, find the opening in the small courtyard and go in. Climbing down the ladder, go forward and use the emblem card to open the gate. Ah, but now, yeah, yeah. Now we can get the, get the weapons. We should go down, yeah. Almost missed that. Almost missed it. Ah! No. Wait. I thought it's a herb. I don't see anything. This game is like a soup. <laughs> it's just a soup of pixels. It's not sharp at all. But this is because I have that that um, that card. Yeah. That that cannot capture card, but the um, the card that allows me like uh, a device that allows me to convert the signal from the that old cable with the three like dongles connected to the HDMI, and then you lose there a bit of image quality, I guess. Oh, but this was not... It did, this was not what I wanted. Could I save from up? Downstairs in the opening, small courtyard, climb down the ladder, go forward. Use the emblem card to open, go to the stairs where Steve came from, and use the card. I think here. Yeah, here we'll find something good. Yeah. Car rear indigo blue. Electronically locked, open. I thought that's a shotgun when I saw it first, but it's a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher, yeah. Oof. We've taken a grenade launcher. Excellent. Now finally we can ob obliterate all the enemies. How it should be. And we have a new area. To explore. Also be sure to grab the grenade launcher rounds from the shelf. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> no! No! 
That caught me by surprise. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that. Oh, she's bleeding hard. Now she's touching the belly. This is the difference. Yeah, we need those freaking rounds. Oh, she's touching the belly. That's not good. Also, go up the stairs and through the door. Head into the elevator. Yeah, we don't want to go that way now. That is a dangerous area. There are banner snatchers there. Yeah. Let's go this way. Where's the elevator again? Just straight. It's the first time I see it. That there are different animations how 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 hard hit the character is. She, when it's cautious, she's touching her her um, shoulder. And when she's super hurt, she touches the belly. Yeah, danger. We have to eat. Eat the herb. Fine. Everything is alright. Oh, I thought she was still touching the belly, but she was just uh, grabbing the bow gun. Go up the stairs, through the door, head into the elevator, and go to the second floor. Yeah, there we can open also with the indie card stuff. We just saved like 10 minutes ago, but I feel like I want to save again. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to replay things. It's a cool mechanic that you... That you actually... If you die, you lose a lot of progress, but it's also... Ooh. You no longer need the emblem card. The scarred. The every room, the second floor. Use the emblem card to open a shutter. Walk up the stairs and pick up the grenade runs near the chair. Good. That makes sense. One herbs. Let me see how much inventory space we have. No, it looks good. Herb. Yes, of course. Take it. Another one. Take it. You know what I mean, like food herbs. <laughs> Not other type of herbs. Uh, the albinoid. What, what does it say there? What does it say? Description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. Char characteristics. Similar to a normal amph amphibian, an amphinoid body will come, uh, will change as it grows to age. When young, an amphinoid is small and is in size, but it can grow to over seven feet in very short time frame, plus ten hours. Whoa, that's fast! They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Ooh, dangerous. Is this the same? Yeah. I think here we have some goodies. Yeah. More grenade rounds. Ooh, now we're pre prepped for war. Um... Move to the lit display and learn about them amplio am amplinoids. <laughs> amplinoids, then. Um, go back down the stairs and take the army proof. Oh, the army proof we have. We have the navy proof, army proof. I don't know. Okay, I know already. 
The Navy proof we already placed it. Take the army proof, yes. You've taken the army proof. The hazard breakouts in the bio experiment room. Switch security monitor, yeah. Now loading. Let's have a look. Yeah, that that, that exploded. Oh, this room. This is the, the this is the room, the bio experiment room, yeah. Oh, we can zoom in. Ah, this is the number. This is the number that that we needed and we couldn't see before from the um, from the scientists to open up this thing. So it's one one two six. I noted it down. We remember it. Bike experiment room has finished ventilating. How convenient. Now we can return. Pick up the two, two green herbs near the computer. Watch out for zombies. Go out. Go out of the door in this room and then down the stairs. Head inside the military training facility. Use the biohazard card on the shutter and discard it. Head up the stairs and back into the room where the bowgun. Where you got the bowgun. As if I would know where the freaking guy got the bowgun. That bowgun is the worst gun ever. Yeah, now look, this is this is open. We can cross here. I will go this way. Freaking zombies! Look at them. They stand up. Yeah, we go. We go this way. I'm not gonna kill the zombies. I don't care about them. I really don't care. Now we can open up the bio facility room. If we go down, ah, yeah, it's it's unlocked. This is easy. Wow, but I'm really happy that this is a really good Resident Evil game. The sad thing is they don't make this kind of games anymore because the the market is not so big. For it. This is something of the past. This is like a good, good classic novel. I don't like classic novels so much. Like I don't, I didn't enjoy them so much. Maybe because I was forced to read them. Maybe if I would read them now at my age, I would enjoy them more. But when I had to read them on, in school, I hated reading. Now I enjoy reading. Yeah, we discarded. Card reader, silver in color. Did I discard it? I pressed several times. I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, it's gone. Up. This door is locked. We don't need it anyways. And the other do door is unlocked. I like it that they chose which doors can be accessed now. Oh, my, leg, my legs are hurting. Last week I walked like 50 kilometers. And this week I didn't work, walk anything. Door lock system active. Enter the pass number. Please enter the number with the first digits. It's one, one, two, six. I noted it down. I always note it down for the record. Because we we saw it before and this is this was here written in the memo. Um 
opens the door. Let's see. Take the acid rounds on the desk with the skeleton painting. There will be a cutscene. Mm, let's have a look. Acid rounds, yep. Yep. Oof, we haven't saved in a while again. Um, no cutscene. You don't bother. And you don't bother shooting the um, amblinoids, okay? Now go back to the garage with the jeep, through the door in the public, uh, into the picture room, place the skeleton picture on the wall, and then grab the gold key. Okay, we have to take the, gold, the, the skeleton picture. So we don't attack anything here. Can we open the shutter door? There is no door, is there a door? It doesn't seem to be working, I can't open it. Okay, that's locked. This is like semi-open. There's nothing useful. Okay. Why do you suggest then? Oh, we can't cross. This is like a person. We can't step over the person. Hmm, <laughs> you look at it, there's the amblinoids. Amblinoid. Uh, good, there will be a card. Yeah, let's have a look, let's take it. Skeleton picture, yeah. There it is. Ugly! Like an alien. From the movie Aliens. go out. Oh shit. Let's get out of here. I guess again through the shutter. Ooh, it's not so much time. Oh. Boy, super slow. Whoa! Yeah, again. Again, again. At least we escaped. Now go through the garage. Garage. With the Jeep. Who is that? I think the garage is outside again. We have to be careful with the wind. Daisy! How's it going? Wait. <laughs> yeah, these graphics are classics. Classic graphics. PlayStation 2. The mustache is back. Yeah, it is back. Very much appreciated. It grew. It's still not not in its full glory, but it's grow it's coming back. Thanks a lot. Super much appreciated for the for the um, for the sub. I'm currently on at work. Just on my break, but thanks a lot that you popped in. How's work going? I hope it's, it's... Are many people going to the cinema already? Are, are they? Like, do you have special rules? Have the people... Like, I, I wanted to go, but I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I just should go with the mask or not. I, I think, like, the people... As at least what I have seen, because now I was on holiday, the people don't care. They just put it uh, down, right? And just eat. I need uh, my pilot emote. <laughs> yeah... That's the, the pilot emote when I play piloting games. I mean, it doesn't happen too often, but twice already. Free Guy is quite busy. Yeah, Free Guy, that's the new movie that came out. Is it? Is it? Can you also see cheaper than movies? I think so, right? Do you get a discount? Or do you just can see them through the... Just like enter and say like, yeah, I'm doing something and watch movies? No, probably not. Probably quite busy, right? Um... Let's see. This is the Jeep room. Yeah, I'm trying to... I have here a guide. Because this game is quite difficult, so... Um, I'm half... I'm half cheating. Yeah, get free tickets and 40... Oh, that's super good. Because food is the most expensive at the cinema. That's how they make the money, right? 
because the ticket that's super cool free tickets and 40 percent football and you can see all the movies now i haven't been i haven't the last movie i saw in the cinema wow i don't remember which which was the last movie i went to i really don't remember and that's sad because I, I like movies i like a lot going to the cinema i mean i also enjoy watching on tv but it's not the same the, the like the feeling that you go to go you see the people you have your popcorn your nachos or uh yeah if only you knew how much money they made of the food <laughs> they make probably a lot because popcorn doesn't cost much right but maybe I, they, I don't maybe I don't even want to know but they make a lot of money I know that because it's always ridiculously expensive the for what you get like a coke and or a, a sprite or whatever soda you take and popcorn doesn't cost much Na nachos also doesn't cost much yeah good yeah that's that's really a good perk of the job yeah they buy the cheapest stuff and make the prices crazy yeah that's that's sad actually but it's like it's how it goes always i mean you also have to survive maybe they make too much profits <laughs> wait where do we have to go now i'll try to i have to go to the room with which one um uh, i go back to the garage to the jeep door go into the picture room through the door into the picture room where the freaking is the picture room I'll just explore I'm gonna head off away any, uh, anyway I'll try to come in when I'm home if you don't don't tough have a good night dude good night um, Daisy super much appreciated one million thanks as always for the support I wish you a wonderful evening at work that it passes fast and is not stressful and chill and if we don't see also a good night take care goodbye and now we continue to the picture room where i have no clue where it is but we'll find it eventually eventually <laughs> it has to be in the military compound so in the military facility oh, oh, oh. again they're here again kill them oh shoot What I like is that you see the, the arrows. Ah, shit. But I, I like that, you, that they, they get stuck. I remember when I was so flashed and just like impressed playing on the PlayStation 2 Metal Gear Solid and you were able to see from the, the tranquilizing pistol you were able to see the, um, the tranquilizing arrows. That was that was really I remember I was like what? That's awesome. Oh, I'm in caution again. I mean, the picture room. Where could it be? Where could it be? Yeah, this way. Yeah, and his graphics are <laughs> good. But the thing is, I got used to them. Like, this is the picture room. Ah, look. Look what it hints. This is the picture room. And here we see a blue and a red picture. And the blue is here and the red is not here anymore. And we will place the red one here. Look. here what's making the sound I don't know what I, I have a weird sound here but it's okay maybe it's the PlayStation and it's just <laughs> it's last breath um, yeah here you see it and we'll, we'll place it here I'm really happy that I was able look at that okay we we'll place it here Ooh, it opens. Nice. I will. I'm really happy that I was able. Like I grew up in this in this era of of Nintendo, N Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, and I I grew up with this. I'm not I, like I think how I had it was perfect because I grew up with technology. 
It's still boomer though. <laughs> but uh, I grew up with all the technology and I was I was seeing how the game was developing. And this is something that you don't have anymore. Like they have to come even if they come up with the most crazy graphics, you will be like, no, it looks good. But not like the jump from 2D gaming to 3D gaming. That's something that uh, was epic. I mean the games were not super super perfect, but um, it was incredible to see that development. A memorial plate. There is some writing on it. Dedicated to the training facilities. Completion. December 8th. Alfred Ashford. Yeah, one of the founders of the Umbrella Corporation. It's secured with a simple lock. Ah, shoot, we don't have the simple simple keys. Simple keys are difficult to, to get, apparently. Um, there'll be a cutscene. Get out before the counter runs out and don't get shot by the... Oh, we already have it. Now go back to the garage. But what? We got it. We, we have it. There's yet another cutscene. Can we save? Full type right... Oh, we can't save. Because we don't have the, the ribbons. We're in caution. Let's check this one. Army proof. A hex-shaped stone object. A picture of a jeep is carved into it. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Gold key. Not use. Check. A gold key. <laughs> it's still... The Ashford family crest is carved on it. Cool. Yeah, nothing special, but still okay. Place the yeah, I think I'm sh I'm I'm super concerned, uh, because now we'll maybe have again a countdown. Let me just read because if we screw up here, we will have a problem. Um, grab the cold key and read the message and remember the date. What? Which message? A memorial plate. There is some writing on it. Dedicated through the training because it is completion. December eighth. 12-8. And it sucks. December 8th. I'm writing it down, but why do they want that? It's like a super unintuitive hint. It is a diorama modeled after this facility. There's a hole put something in it. What? Ah, we have a... Okay, we need to put something in. Wait, here on the side we cannot open anything? No, it's secured with a simple now. Okay, we already checked that out. Good. Um, I'm stressed. I think we have for now a cutscene or something. Read the message, head back to the place. Now instead of zombies... Wait. Now instead of zombies while running across the narrow bridge, two banners snatched will come up. Avoid them. Dodge the dogs. If you haven't killed them already. And head inside. There will be two zombies on the first floor and two upstairs. Go through the door. But a zombie. Okay, we have to go back to the palace. And this will be quite the mission. And a dangerous one, to be honest. And I, I don't want to risk it. We're going to take the elevator, my friends. Of the night. And. Safe. Gonna say it's super important. If we don't do that, I think we're on the second floor. Let's go to the first one. You're on the first floor. Oh. Let's go back down to the basement then. I'm not sure if it's correct. Because I'm not willing to do this again. Ah, this was wrong. Wrong. It's the second floor then. Second. I think I'm gonna buy me a... Like, um... Something, some container that I can close. Because I'm super stressed that I break my equipment. 
We're we just having water glasses here. Mm -mm. Oh shit, this is also super optimal. And it's obviously exactly the way we have to go. Do I have saving items? Like save uh juices? Yeah I have. Boo It's a big decision now. Waste ammo. Or kill the bander snatchers. I'm still deciding. Let me see again the map. Then we will have to go back anyways. Jeez. No, we'll go. We will not save here. I'm not gonna waste my ammo or something against the zombies. If they would have not been there... Let's go for it. But... I have a healing item. So I'm confident that I can sneak through. And the banner snatches will not kill me. What is this navigation? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, they could have put also another box there. Per area, you only have one, one really one save point. Here you have two save points, but just one, one save box. Storage box. Now we enter the tank room. There is nothing in there. And... Go all the way. Pass all the way. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna change the weapon, though. Because... Combine. The pistol is way better than the freaking bowgun. Bowgun is useless. Useless. Super dangerous. Part now. Now it will be mega dangerous. I'm confident that I can kill one maybe. Whoa! It came out of nowhere. Fuck! Whoa! I still caution. Fuck! Wait. Well, let's take this one. Let's use it. No, let's take it. There, eat that, fuckers. Eat that. Dead. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that I killed them. I don't know, I'm afraid of them. Does it make sense? Maybe not. But I have a lot of combine. Oh, oh it eats all of them. That's nice. Wait, now we can change the weapon. Zombies don't require that special treatment. Nah, but we're doing good progress. We finished the military facility. I think we don't have anything there anymore. Left. And she's just... Just her, her shoulder hurts, so... It's not bad. Good. 
Yeah, this month was a bit of a, a different month because of the holidays um, that I had. It's looking as if... Oh! Wow, it was coming up! Well, let's reload. Let me see. Dodge the dogs, we killed them, and then head inside. There will be two zombies on the first floor, and uh, go through the door. Ah, uh, let's kill them. I want to kill them. I want to be safe. I want to be completely safe. Yeah, it still keeps, like, itching. Twitching. Twitch. Yeah, they're twitching. Let me see. Dogs we killed. Went to the door, head um, to the end of this passage, and then kill the zombies if you haven't. No, we did all this. Time for a picture puzzle. Right, let's clear the zombies first. I want to kill them, really. I feel that they deserve to be killed. Blood. Good. Let's change the weapon to the bow gun. There is another one somewhere. But I don't hear him. Where the heck is he? Where the heck? The guy's heads, there are three of them. They're lying. <laughs> Good. Banner snatch we killed. Dodge dogs we killed them. And head inside. There will be two zombies on the first floor and two upstairs. We killed them. Go through the door by the zombie. Go through the door by the zombie in the back. Hand to the end of this passage. We don't have to go up. We could save, though. Let's go and save. Fuck it. We cleared it. And then if something happens, we're super, super cleared. Everything perfect. Whoop. Wow, six months already have passed. Since I started... No more! Seven months since I started playing all Resident Evil games. Eight months? Holy shit. Yeah, it makes sense. Relaxing music. That's a lot of months. It's a lot of months. I started in January with Resident Evil. Only in Ju July I didn't stream Resident Evil games. But at least one minimum one Resident Evil games per, mo per, per month. You can save your progress with this. Use an ink ribbon, yes. I might also get some more exotic games. Like, the most exotic um, Resident Evil games I played was uh, Operation Raccoon City. To be honest, it was not fun at all alone. Because it is like Resident Evil 5. Just that you can play with f up to four players together. And if you play it, and they are always there, the, the, you always have those NPCs. So if you are four people playing, a group of four friends, or four people playing at the same time, then I think it's not bad at all. But it's difficult to get four people to play. Also, two people is not fun. Then it's better to play Resident Evil 5. But if you have four peeps, all that have the game, 
Then it's uh, not bad. The graphics were not bad. Gameplay was not bad. You could have like a tanky class or a tanky character, assault. Um, I played Orc with just two players. It was okay. It was okay. Okay. No, I played it alone. It was terrible. Alone is terrible. Very bad. I didn't enjoy it because... Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 meant to be played in, in a group. I saved, right? I think so. And there are other games that I have not played that are exotic. But that's that's the most exotic I've played. Oak. Yeah, we saved. I think we're... We're okay with it. Yeah, I will just go this way then. Good. Um, now use the key on the double doors. Now we go back down. Let's go down. I think Outlast or Outcast or something like this is also a game. Some two games or Chronicles or something like this. I'm not sure how they're called. I might also buy them in Pum Fortin, but yeah, I have to play a bit. Like, I have to wait a bit with Resident, e Resident Evil 7. I'm, I'm sure it will work, but Resident Evil 8, I might need to upgrade the PC. Anyway, I wanted to upgrade it since it's a couple of years now. Uh, and maybe I wait until I have better, a better PC to, to enjoy the, the game and uh, have also good experience. Not that I play in the minimum graphics, like that I play in PlayStation 2 graphics for Resident Evil 8. I don't know enough people that would want to play it with four players. So yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. It's super difficult to get to get a group together. Like Resident Evil 5 was okay. Resident Evil 6 I played also a bit. In co-op, not all of them. I played with King Bad Banana, also a streamer. I played some missions with him. I think the campaign of Chris I played with him. Was a lot of fun. And with uh with viewers, Resident Evil 5 was good. Really good. Wait, we can open this door now. Fuck. Use the gold key, yes. The lock has been released. You don't need this key anymore. Yeah, more inventory space. That's perfect. And I use the door. Good. Time for the picture puzzle. I will not read now the guide. I will try to do it myself. It's a man on a portrait. An earthware vase is also illustrated. There is a button below. Press it. Yeah. Nothing happened. A red-haired man is holding a tea set. There is a button below. Push it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happens. What's this here? That's kind of weird. Outbreak. Outbreak, exactly. One and two on PlayStation 2 were pretty good. But I never got to play those multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That, those are old, awesome multiplayer games. Yeah, the PlayStation 2 also had online functionality, but I never... I think super f few people played actually online on the PlayStation 2. The problem is that my router in, in, in my parents, like the apartment where we lived when I was a kid, um, I somehow managed to convince my, my parents to put the internet <laughs> and the PC in my room. <laughs> I had the trade-off that many people always were entering my room and were using the PC, but I was mainly using the PC because it was not a problem. And since the router and the internet, the wi like the, wi the LAN and the internet the box, was in, uh, in my room, the TV in the living room was on the other side of the apartment. I, I could have never connected it to the PlayStation. And I didn't have an own TV on my room because they said, no, it was too small. I had my computer and it was anyway enough. Very small amount of games that had on in a PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, it was super niche. But it would be cool to, to be able to play it. 
It would be fun, actually. It's a portrait of a picture of red-haired man. An earthware plate is also illustrated. There is a button below. Press here. Yeah. A middle-aged man with red-haired twins. A tea set is placed on the table. There is a button below. No, I don't. I don't know what we have to do here. They don't explain it yet. Let's go up. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your su uh, succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthware vase. Wait, I'll note it down. Earthware vase. According to the Ashford family tradition. As you, might, as you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. Golden teacup. Teacup. Ah, uh, seems a nice game. Yeah, this is a nice game. This is a nice game. Code Veronica with K. How are you doing? Thanks for popping in. Um, I'm just writing, noting it down. Wait, what? This is Veronica. What? Wait. What? As you may know, so Veronica Ashford. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. As a founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. There it is called Veronica. I always thought, to be honest, people, always thought that code Veron that this is Veronica. Until until I started uh, until I bought this game, I thought this is Veronica. <laughs> and Resident Evil called Veronica. You play with Veronica. Okay, no spoiling. No, no, no spoiling. Uh, yeah, but this is like Miss Red, uh, Red, uh, Redfield. I always thought Veronica. Look, we play with Veronica. So Veronica is the the member of the Ashford family. The Ashford family, um, like had something to do with with um, Umbrella Corporation. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son, were also presented with a similar teacups. Wait. The second and third teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. It was Stan and Thomas. Why isn't this game ever come out on a Sega Saturn or remaster to switch? Yeah, it would be cool. Like, to switch it should... I mean, to switch is okay, because then it's, like, portable. But remaster, remaster with good graphics. Okay. The position of the family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the Lark Chemical Enterprise Umbrella. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just that this phase continues to shine eternally. So, Cup cup and fourth is base Scott Harmon ah, the master's memo cool let's go down let's press around let's fiddle around with them with the pictures a beautiful woman holding a tea set this must be Veronica code Veronica there it is wow never expected this that she's like a a woman from the Baroque times. 1800, 1700, something like that. 
It's so simple to read read again. Yeah. Press below, yeah. Good. Then stand with a cup. With a golden teacup. It's a picture of a man. A pure white candlestick is also illustrated. No. There's a button below. No. It's a picture of a man, red haired man. Every plate is illustrated. No. You can't even press anything. Uh, twin. Wait. It's a por portrait of a man. Everywhere vase is illustrated. No, I don't want to press it. It's a red haired man holding a tea set. Tea set is the last one. A vase. Shit! I think this is the second one. Wait, the first one? It's a middle-aged man. He's white, red-haired. Twins. A tea set is placed on the table. Why can't I press it? Why can't I press it? I pressed a man with two babies. Why can't I? Why did it? What happened to this? You pressed it earlier. How can it reset? There's a magic written on the top of the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy. Reveal the true master. There's a button below. Push it. Yes. No! This resets all the buttons, activation buttons in the room. Push it, yes. Yeah, I mean the first is, is the girl, the woman. Like this is for sure her. This is Veronica, Lutherian. This must be it, yes. Then it was with the twins. Golden teacups and twins, I think. Because they talked about the twins. And these teacups. Yeah. Then I'm not sure. There is also a teacup. Let me see this one. Ah, this for sure not. Candlesticks. No. This guy, he has a vase that's also not a tea set. No way. And this is the guy with a teacup. This is the last one. It's a picture of a red haired man. A plate? No. Plate is even worse. Shit, I don't know what what to press. This doesn't seem like it. I mean, I've this could be like porcelain, you know. Vase, cup, cup, vase. Shit. Press it. And then this one. A red haired man's holding a tea set. There is a button below. The last one was the tea set. There were four. Let's see. If not, I have to read it again fast. Ah wrong. Okay, let's read it again. Oh, yeah, that was bad. There's a match on the picture. Trace the Ashford Legacy. Reveal its button. Push the button. No. This already reset everything. 
Let me read again. Not a playing manual. Not that one, please. Prisoner's Diary? Where do I have to find ah, the files? Secretary note there. Four years have passed since her effort begun. No, this is something else. This doesn't seem like it. User manual? No. Ah, there you see the... Four years have passed since I began serving. Sir, uh, since I began serving, he doesn't trust anyone. Shit! Where is the note? Memo to the new master. There. Sir Alfred, congratulations on. Yeah, okay, I hereby present you with an earthware vase. He has a vase earthware. Vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began with the butter present a golden teacup. Wait. Golden teacup to Veronica. Woman tea. That's the first one. The second one. As a father of the Ashford family, her intelligence, yeah, beauty, yes, is beautiful. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also present. Stan and Thomas are the second masters, third masters, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to the brother, to the twin brother Arthur. So, the second one is the man with two babies because they're talking about the, the twins. So second is twins, I think. I press that, that must be it. It went to the Sir, wait, it went to Sir Edward your grandfather, that was when the Ashford family has its golden age. Sir Edward, then. Holy shit. I mean, Sir Edward. Who could that be? It's the woman, the twins. Sir, it la sounds like an old dude, but they are all called Sir. The golden age, golden. I will write golden. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise umbrella. Okay, Sir Edward was the one. However, when Sir Edward passed away, your father, Sir Alexander, Alex, succeeded the position. The glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains the glory. Yeah, I'll try it again. It's better better exploring and trying it out. Good. It's reset. First the woman. Because it's with Veronica. One. Then the twins. They talked at least about the twins. Middle-aged men with twins. Yes. Then it is Sir Edward. That's not Sir Edward. That's like young. No.
Is this Sir Edward? It's a man portrait. No shit. I mean, it might be easy, but it's not as easy. A red-haired man holding a tea set. I mean, they were talking about tea sets. It's always a tradition with the tea sets, isn't it? I'll press this one. Then... Holy shit, what should I do? No, this no. Wait, woman? Twins? Stanley, but did they talk about the twins? Then Sir Edward? Yeah, if you have hints, feel free. Without the solution. No, this cannot be. This is young. This guy is young. I mean, the twins were babies. with red-haired twins. How specific do you want hints? Who I don't know. <laughs> Would, who could be the next one? I pressed. Veronica? The twins? And this, this guy. But I'm not sure if this is correct. You're right so far? Holy shit. Wait, no, I didn't press this one. I pressed the tea set, man. Red haired with teacup. Yeah. Ah, we need another red haired man because the babies are red haired. The babies are red haired. Ah, I get, get it. Look. Veronica. Then the, the father of, of the twins. The twins were red haired. Look, middle aged man is red haired with red haired twins. Then we pressed this young man, which is red-haired. We go to the other red-haired man, which now this is when he's an adult. I'll, play, I'll press this. Okay, then we have the mother, the grandfather, the twins. Then his father. Oh shit, who could it be? Now we have to... It's 50-50 now. This guy's blonde. No, I wouldn't press this one. I want to see the other one too. Umbrella. I mean, he looks like reading. W which one of the two? <laughs> I don't want to press them all again. Which one of the two? Um, is it correct? Luther, do you know it? You're right so far? Shit. Alex. I mean, I know that, that this guy, this old guy, then the young one. Okay, press this one then. Yeah, but it's not quite clear for me. I mean, Veronica is clear for me. The twins is clear for me. Because the father of the twins. Then, which of the two red-haired twins? I don't know. And this this, this last part, I would be a bit lost. Maybe this works. This looks like newer. I don't know. Let's see. Press it. Whoa! Only answering since you want asked. Yeah, yeah, please, thanks, thanks. Yeah, because I was a bit lost. Then the, the pressing around is is difficult. Not not pre it takes just time to to reset everything. But yeah, I mean it made sense for me. Just then afterwards I got lost. This puzzle is kind of hard. It is super hard. 
I mean, Veronica is, was clear because she started it. She's the only woman. Then they were talking about twins later on. But the twins were babies and red-haired. And the father of the twins has to be off before them. Because there's something where you have to look around the room for the last parts. Ah, okay. There is a candle on your left. Ah, yeah, it is. A pure white candlestick. Something is written on the base. In memory of Alexander Afril's succession. Ah! Yeah, I would have not. Like, probably I would have found out, but... This would have been another iteration of errors. Take the earth... Oh, the vase. Yeah, it wouldn't have... That was guessing in the end. I mean, it would have taken some time and then... Then I would have found out eventually. Something in? There is something inside. Yeah, I always check Resident Evil games. The Queen Anne's object is in a vase. Queen Anne object. A Queen Anne object that contains a red ruby. Good. Yeah, this was a hard... This was a quite a hard puzzle, to be honest. Like, the last parts were pure guessing. Only the beginning was kind of... Okay. Um, yeah, we have the, the, the thing. A pure white candlestick. Is this not a door? But this puzzle was interesting. It was hard, though. It was one of the harder ones in Resident Evil. Let me see the map. We checked everything. That's it. I don't know what to do now, though. Hmm. Let's go back. Where's the safe room? I would like to save. It took so long time. Oh, actually, this is a good moment to do a short break. Uh, a very, very short break. I'm going to get uh, something new to drink. That was like the third episode for this Let's Play series. I'm not finishing streaming, just getting something, grabbing something to drink because I'm going to stream two more hours. i um, going to reload there. <laughs> And I will be right back in a second. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, really short break, just two minutes, getting something extra to, to drink. See you.